Hello everyone and welcome. It's the end of April and Harbor Freight is having yet another sale to motivate you guys to go into their stores or shop online and buy more stuff. It looks like what you guys are doing is having an impact because Harbor Freight never used to have as many sales as they're having now. Most of the time they would have one or two sales per month that would last a couple of weeks at a time. Now they're doing new sales or promotions every week. This is why I tell you that your actions and comments do matter. If you guys keep asking for more coupons and more discounts, Harbor Freight will give them to you. So in this video, I will go over the latest promotions from Harbor Freight for the last week of April. I'll talk about some of the items. I won't go over every single one of them or the video will be too long. If I forget to comment on something that you find interesting, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. These prices are in effect from now until April 29th. And as always, if you can't see these coupons clearly due to the video encoding, do not worry. All these images are available at my website under the extras tab in high resolution image so you can see them anytime you want that is convenient for you and that way you can decide which items you want to buy. So what does Harbor Free have in store for us this week? Let's find out. But before we do that, if you enjoy getting the latest information on Harbor Freight promotions, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time I produce a new money-saving video for Harbor Freight. Alright, so let's see what Harbor Freight has in store for us. This is the end of the month savings, last deals available for the month of April. So let's see what's available for us this time. So right now here we have the Luminar Outdoors uh, incandescent lights for 20 bucks. These are the incandescent ones. They do have some LED ones, but they're a bit more expensive. They put them on sale every so often, but not this time right now. So if you want the LED ones, hold out for a little while. Maybe in a week or two, a couple weeks, three weeks, they'll be back. No problem there. They always show up. And here you have some uh, cutoff wheels for $6.99. That's about $0.69 cents each because it is a 10-pack. You know, these have gone up. They used to be $0.49. Cents. Now they've gone up to $0.69. Cents but they're still cheaper than Home Depot. I was curious, I haven't purchased any at Home Depot in a while, so I did look it up. And the cheapest one they have at Home Depot is like two bucks. So 69 cents is still a darn good deal compared to Home Depot. And that's what Harbor Freight needs to understand and keep in mind going forward that we don't go to them because they're the best, we go to them because they're the cheapest. These wheels are not the best out there, uh, you're going to go through them. They don't last that long, but they are the cheapest. And that's why we go to Harbor Freight. So they got to remember their spot. They can't want to keep upgrading and being the best in the market. For that, you go to you know Home Depot and you can get uh, DeWalt products, Makita products, Milwaukee, whatever. You don't go to Harbor Freight. So Harbor Freight, keep it in mind. Keep your prices low. That's what we all want. And here you have a dolly. This is the bigger one. Last week they had the smaller dolly, which was a few bucks cheaper. Here they have the bigger one. So if you weren't able to get that last week, you can get the bigger one this week. And here they have their 5500 lumens shop light for 25 bucks. And uh, this is, like I said, the 5500. They do have a 5000 lumen one, which does come on sale most of the time for around 20 bucks. If you wait for a special sale, like a Black Friday sale or something, uh, they've been known to go down to like 17 bucks. But if you need it right now, you can get this one or wait a little while and the other one will be a few bucks cheaper if you don't need the extra lumens. This is not a bad uh, TV uh, holder right here. And here we go talking about the uh, zip ties right here for $1.99 for a pack of 100, black or white. And there are some shorter ones further down the page. But uh, if you want to save some money on these, I mean, if you're there and you want to grab them, sure, go ahead. Why not? That's fine. But if you want to save some money, uh, I've been able to get these uh, different times at the 99 cent store or the Dollar General. You can get them for 99 cents. So they're really, really cheap in other places. I mean, you can't go wrong no matter where you get them. It's just a zip tie. It's just a piece of plastic. So uh, get them wherever they are the cheapest available for you. Uh, this hose right here, oh my goodness, do not buy this hose. No matter what you do, do not buy it. It is like a, a torture device. You will hate this hose the minute you get it. Uh, I bought this a few years ago, and really quick, my story, I bought this, and, um, you know, it's really, it is like so coiled up. It never uncoils from this shape you see here, and never, ever wants to uncoil. 
So you're going to be fighting with it for the rest of eternity. It never loosens up. I thought it would. I didn't, ta I didn't want to take it back, so I thought it would loosen up. So I put it on the south side of my house and left it exposed to the sun, you know, all the time. Even the sun of the summer and all that, thinking that it would loosen it up like most plastic hoses will loosen up in the heat of the summer. It sat there for like three years and it still does not want to uncoil. It is very difficult to water or clean anything with this hose because it won't uncoil. So finally, I just got tired of it. I took it out and I threw it in the side of the yard somewhere and I've left it there until, I don't know, I was tempted to throw it away, but I said, you know what? I may need it for an emergency or something. So I just left it in the corner of the yard somewhere and uh, one day I may just toss it out because it is that bad. It is like fighting with a python or something. It won't help you do anything. And these guys right here, these um, batteries for 199 AA, AAA, 24 pack. You know what? Again, you can go, these batteries are not really all that great. If you want, I've, I have found that if you go to the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree, you can get like a 12 pack of name brand batteries like Sunbeam and you know things like that, uh, Rayovac sometimes, whatever they, ha whatever they have in stock. You can get those for like 99 cents. So you get two 12 packs for 99 cents, you're paying the same as this and they're probably a little bit better, quali uh, better quality battery. So I would say go to the 99 cent store Dollar Tree and get it there instead of here. And here you have the other zip ties that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this guy right here, these are pretty good. 200 lumens, fairly bright, 199 that's really a cheap price, and they come in really handy. Uh, I got one of these for my wife a while ago because, uh, you know, the closet was dark when she's picking out her clothes, and we don't have any lighting in the closet, like most people don't. And, um, you know, it was hard for her to find her clothes and stuff like that, so I got her one of these, and she's happy after that. Uh, you know, you just stick it on the wall or something, a couple AA batteries, no wiring required, and it's very bright, lights up the closet very nicely. Here's another dolly right here. These plastic ones are very good. I have one of these and they're very good. And they're reinforced under the blue part right here. They're reinforced with a metal rod. So they're very, very sturdy. They are more expensive, but they are very sturdy. The only weak part of this is that it is not reinforced under here, under the rubber part. So, you know, uh, you would think you would never break it, but a buddy of mine borrowed the one I have and he broke it under this area right here, right between the two wheels. How he did that, I don't know, but he, he figured out how, a way to do it. So uh, I had to reinforce that with a piece of wood underneath that. So just uh, keep it in mind, if you do buy one, just go ahead and for the sake of uh, getting it done ahead of time, put a piece of wood underneath there, reinforce it. There is, uh, you know, there is a channel under there that you can easily put a, you know, one by two or something like that and reinforce it, make it much, much stronger. It'll hold up anything you throw at it. And here you have one of these cards here. I can't say anything much about them. They're just a fiberglass card. Uh, this guy right here, the vacuum pump kit, uh, I would say don't get it from Harbor Freight. I would say get it from Amazon or eBay. Um, this really, it comes the way you see it right here. It comes just the kit like this, uh, closed together in a cellophane package attached to a piece of cardboard. So when you tear it apart, all these pieces are loose. There's nothing to keep it in. You can pay the exact same price, $19.99, $20, $20, $21, $21, depending on who you get it from. But I checked, and you can get it for $19 on Amazon and eBay, and it comes with a nice red case where you can keep all this stuff organized. That's the way I got it. I got it from Amazon, and I only paid $20. That was a couple years ago. And it's a way, way better than getting all this stuff from Harbor Freight, and you're, eventually you're going to lose all these parts. So you're going to wind up with the pump and nothing to work it with. So, you know, if you don't want to lose all these parts, get yourself a better kit from Amazon. And here you have a corded angle grinder from Hercules for 89 bucks. You know what? I just did a review video of another angle grinder and uh, I'm gonna link to that up in the corner so you can go watch that one. And that one is the same as this, but a whole heck of a lot cheaper. In fact, it has a better motor. It has greater RPMs than this one does. So if you want uh, to save money, you don't wanna pay 89 bucks because I think the other one has a pretty good discount I think it comes down to about 35 bucks, so it's way cheaper. And it's the same design, same motor, same specs almost, and way better than the Hercules. So again, Harbor Freight is selling something way too expensive that you can get somewhere else like Amazon, that's where the other one is available, and you can get a much better price on it. So I would say check out that other one if you want to get a good angle grinder at a better price. 
these knives right here pretty good. I have, uh, you know, one or two of these. I forget. I have a couple. I, I keep losing them. <laughs> I keep losing them in drawers somewhere. But they're pretty good knives. I like them. And you have a Badland winch. And let's see. This light right here. I also did a review on this a couple years ago when it first came out. And I can't say it's the best light for the money. In fact, in that video, I compare it to another light from Walmart. And I'll put a link up in the corner so you can go watch that video later. Uh, the other one from Walmart is a better light at a better price. So I would say if you're really a Harbor Freight fanboy and you want to get this light, okay, that's up to you. Otherwise, go check out my video. You may like the one from Walmart even better. It's a better light, better price. You may be more satisfied with that one. And there's a welder, 139, not too bad. Here you have the flap disc. Again, uh, you know, it's a decent price. They've gone up. These used to be like 199. Now they've gone up to 299. But again, it's way cheaper than getting it at Home Depot. They're not the best. They'll clog up and stuff. They won't last forever. But again, it is cheaper. So that's exactly what I tell you. Harbor Freight, we go to you because you're the cheapest, not the best. <laughs> that's just, you know what? Everybody has a niche in this world, and you got to figure out what your niche is. Fill that niche and do the best job you can with it and just, you know, enjoy it. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to emulate other people. Be yourself. And that applies to Harbor Freight and everybody else. And here you have a premium air compressor accessory kit, 20 bucks. This is new. I haven't seen this at the store. I'm familiar with the older one they had, but this appears to be a new item. Uh, you guys can check it out and see if it's something you may be interested in. Here is a, a weather resistant tarp, 12 feet by 20 feet, 47 bucks. Boy, that's got to be a really good tarp for that kind of money. Seems a little bit pricey there, but I haven't seen that one firsthand, so I can't say for sure. There you go. Here's another one right here, the Hercules 14 amp uh, rotary hammer. Well, $3.99 is not cheap, but it's better than uh, getting a DeWalt or getting a Milwaukee. Those are going to be more expensive. Uh, you have here the $7.99 for the solar rope light. You know, these aren't too bad. Seven bucks, not bad. I have one of these. I uh, tie it around the palm tree that I have for Christmas. And, you know, it's uh, weather resistant and very easy. It's just a rope. So, it, um, you know, lights up very nicely for uh, Christmas lighting and stuff, and it looks really good. So, you know, you want some uh, cheap lighting, there you go. You can also use it to light up, you know, the edge of uh, a walkway, a driveway, something like that. Very convenient, easy to use, and being a rope design, you don't have the individual bulbs to worry about. Here you have one of the hand trucks, 49 bucks. These used to be cheaper. They used to be like 39 bucks. Now they're 49 Everything keeps going up. Here you have a solid tire for $5.99, not too bad. The Earthquake XDs, here you have uh, the stubby one and the larger one, uh, decent pricing. I mean, I've seen them a few bucks cheaper, but then again, this is something that you buy when you need it. You don't buy it, uh, I mean, sometimes you'll buy it, like I'm the kind of person, I buy things in advance. I prefer to get it now when it's convenient for me instead of when you need it at that moment, because then you got to run out and get it. So, depending on the uh, kind of person you are, whether you want to buy it now or wait for a better sale, totally up to you. And if you want a cheapy, inexpensive drill, here you go, 20 bucks. Uh, really hard to get it much, much cheaper than this. But here is your basic plug-in drill, the Warrior brand, uh, you know, forward and reverse uh, with the key for the chuck, 18 bucks, half inch, yeah, hammer drill. You can't, you can't go better than that. Uh, I, I would be hard pressed to say you could find something cheaper than that on Amazon or eBay. So. If you're just looking for something cheap around the house to do stuff, that's not a bad one right there. These guys right here, the uh, spring compressors for McPherson struts, uh, this is really so bad, folks. I got to say, nothing against these particular spring uh, compressors from Harbor Freight. This tool in general, this, this is like a widow maker. Do not buy these things. Please don't do it. They are dangerous as heck. Stay away from these. For 22 bucks. You can take your McPherson struts to a mechanic and have them compress it for you and swap over the springs and stuff for probably around the same price. Even if you got to pay them 30 bucks, even if you got to do that, pay a mechanic to swap it over for you. They have a much better system that's attached to a wall, more secure, not prone to slipping off and flying across the room and breaking your ribs or something like that. I've seen people use these and it's very, very sketchy. Half the time they look like they're going to fly off. So I would say, don't do that. Um, I don't want you guys getting hurt. Don't buy these. Don't buy them from anybody. Just take it to a mechanic. It's so much safer. Uh, here you have an auger bit if you got to do that. And, uh, you know, respirator mask right there. 
and his tape measure this used to be like 199 or something like that just a couple of months ago and now it's 399 things just keep going up here you have uh trailer light uh you know utility led light uh, for trailers or for i don't know put them anywhere you want 22 bucks yeah, i guess it's not too bad you could probably get these lights a little cheaper on amazon amazon has a really really good selection of uh, cheap led lights if you're looking for something like that to put them on a trailer for off-roading whatever you want to do check out amazon first and uh, you'd be surprised the selection you can get there at really really good prices uh, here you have these clamps, uh, $2.99. Uh, they, they used to be freebies, and a lot of times you could get it for like $0.99, cents, and now they're $2.99. I have like uh, six or eight of these guys. Uh, you know, I got them, you know, a long time ago, and they do have a lifetime warranty. So, you know, sometimes they do break. They stop clamping. They just keep releasing every time. I just take it back and eat another one. Here you have a hand riveter set, $15.99. Now, this is the big one. They have a smaller one, which uh, is, this one's blue, the other one's yellow handles, and the other one's like seven bucks, eight bucks, so it's half the price, and it's not bad. I've used it. The only thing I hate, and I don't know if it's the unit itself or the rivets that came with it, but whenever you use a rivet, the back of it keeps getting stuck in the head. You got to bang it against the ground or something to get it to come out of there. So again, I don't know which one it is. I don't rivet that often. You guys that do riveting more often, you know, comment down below. Let me know if you think it's the unit or the cheap rivets that cause it to keep getting stuck in the back. Or, I don't know, I don't know if it would be good to lubricate the head when you do that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't do it that often to really, um, you know, be able to comment very, very much on that. Here you have some cheap bungees if you need some bungees or some of the uh, EPDM tie downs. 10 bucks, you know, for a 20 pack, uh, they're 50 cents a piece. That's not too bad. Here you have a different welder, 599, 100 bucks off. Well, that's not bad. Uh, I don't, I don't know much about welding. You guys that do, you can comment if you have any experience with this, if it's any good or not. Let everybody know down below what you think about them. And here you have metal cutoff wheels, 10 pack from Hercules, 7.99 for a 10 pack. Well, these are not too bad, 79 cents. Again, if you don't want to get the other Warrior brands or whatever they were, uh, you can get the Hercules ones, and they're a few cents more. They might be a little bit better. The Hercules ones are supposed to be a little bit better than, you know, the, the lower brand, the Warrior ones. 79 cents, not too bad, still cheaper than Home Depot. So check that out. And here you have uh, some of the other ones. Again, Warrior, different brand, different style. These are 5-inch. Uh, 7 8 10 pack 7.99 79 cents not too bad again cheaper than home depot if you want to save yourself some money doing that these step drill bit sets 25 bucks the hercules ones now this is something i would say there's no need to really buy the hercules ones they do have the cheaper ones which are i don't know uh, warrior or central pneumatic uh, pittsburgh whatever they're called i forget uh i did a video review on this a while back and i'll put a link up to that in the corner so you can go watch them get the cheaper ones you can get this three pack for like 8.99 so way way cheaper than getting the hercules ones and they're just step drills they're going to do the same exact thing they're going to drill and do it in, in steps so you'll be fine with the other ones and save yourself some money and here you have this impact wrench here from icon 89 bucks expensive supposed to be a little bit uh, more compact than the other ones but my goodness 89 bucks that is super expensive but then again you guys out there that want to have something that looks like it's a snap-on tool, you can go ahead and get that. But to me, it's way too pricey. I'd rather pay 10 bucks for the, uh, the, the, the cheaper ones. Uh, you can get the, uh, what is it, Pittsburgh ones, I think they are. And they go on sale for 10 bucks all the time. So that's the one I have. Very happy with it. Uh, I've used it in several videos, and I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Here you have an inspection camera, 149. And the truck bed coating, it's okay. It'll do the job. But what I have heard from other people that have used this is they complain that it's a bit too thin. It goes on too thin. So you got to maybe put like multiple coats on it to get the same thing you would get with the name brand ones that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. So keep that in mind. You may spend about the same amount of money instead of getting the other one because it is so much thinner. And okay, guys, here we are at the end of the video. And remember, all these coupons are available at my website, along with the Inside Track Club coupons. And the Inside Track Club coupons are still in effect until the end of the month. If you want to save some money, go check that out. And, you know, you can uh, shop like an ITC member by copying the codes that I have. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.